call a meeting for order at uh, 631 or 531 okay. on uh, November 20th, uh, 2023. Uh, and uh, could the members of the commission introduce themselves? I'm Eric Gilbertson. I'm the vice chair, chairing. I'm Martha Smirsky, member. Benjamin Cheney, member. And Meredith Crandall, staff. Okay, we're all set. Uh, Meredith needs to review the remote, remote, remote meeting procedures. Go, Meredith. Yeah. All right. So I am going to be sharing my screen. There's a little fun little slideshow presentation. Um, the presentation is mostly for people who are watching via Orca Media, but there will be some information for everybody, especially anyone who hasn't done this with us before. Um, so for those viewing tonight's design review committee meeting via Orca Media, you can participate in tonight's meeting um, via the Zoom platform through either video or telephone access options. So your full Zoom meeting platform option is to put this link into your web browser and it should bring you right, right into the waiting room for the meeting and I would let you in. Um, alternatively, you can dial this phone number here and then put in this meeting ID. Um, and again, I'll see that you're trying to get into the meeting um, and let you in. If you are having problems accessing the e meeting, please email me at mcrandall at Montpelier hyphen vt.org. I will be monitoring my email throughout the meeting. Um, for those attending via Zoom, turning your video on is optional. For everyone attending, um, please keep your microphone on mute when you're not speaking. This will reduce background noise. Um, right now, we just have our applicants and our committee members and ORCA on. Um, if we start having general members of the public, um, I will probably set it up so that um, people have to ask to be unmuted and that would apply to committee members as well. It just starts getting difficult to, to manage if we have lots of people on. Um, for anyone who calls in over the phone, please know that unmuting yourself, you need to press star six um, and that'll work within the Zoom platform. Um, the Zoom chat function should only be used for troubleshooting or logistics questions. If you have, um, if anyone has a question or comment about an item on the agenda, please raise your hand. I know we only have one item of substance tonight, but who knows, maybe someone will pop on. Um, please note that if the public is unable to access this meeting, and I would get notice of that via email, then it would need to be continued to a time, place, and certain because this is the only way for the public to access the meeting. All right, I'll now hand this over to the chair. Well, acting chair, vice chair for tonight. Thank you, Meredith. Uh, the vice chair has no comments, so let's take up the first application, 18 Downing Street. Uh, oh, approval of the agenda. Oh, excuse me. Yes, we need to approve the agenda. Do I hear a motion? Yeah, I'll move to approve the agenda. This is Martha. <clears throat> All second. All in favor? Martha. Ben. Eric. Thank you. And uh, uh, so the first uh, application is 18 Downing Street. And uh, uh, we need, I think I understand the project pretty well, but we do need a presentation. Hello. Um, Meredith, is it easier if I share my screen or for you to share yours with the plan? Yeah, you go ahead if you want. If for some reason it's lagging, I can try it from here. Um, and I would say show Perfect. the newer one with the updated trees on it. Um, host has disabled participant screen oh. sharing. Okay. So let me, yeah, we've had to change our settings. Um, sure. Hold on. Where is do, 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 do. Okay. I can't just do that just for you. <laughs> Try it now. Moment. Let's see. And yes, we are getting somewhere. 
All right, let me know if you can actually see. Yes, okay. it is said started sharing. Okay. Yes, there we go. Woo okay, I'm you trying to get it as big as I can here. <laughs> yeah, let's get it bigger. How does it look on yours? Can anybody see anything? <clears throat> um, yeah, is it too small or can you see? Okay. Perfect. Um, so the proposed project is to increase the the parking at, um, we've called it 18 Downing Street. Um, so there's currently uh, 22 parking spaces, 21 parking spaces, I think, and we add 10 parking spaces here in this back. So they're tandem spaces. There's no additional impervious or curb cut off of Downing Street. They're just tandem spaces. Um, they've, the, uh, apartments often need more than one parking space per unit and so they're they're trying to just create that availability so they'll have to do their park um, parking shuffle like any any normal household does tandem spark, uh, spaces so we've <clears throat> shown them as being having wheel stops here <laughs> excuse me to demarcate um instead of having curbing because i wanted to have um it's a lot easier to plow with snow to to have those than um, than formal curbing, um, and then we're trying to <clears throat> trying to limit earth disturbance. But when you add tar ten parking spaces, that happens. Um, so we've minimized the disturbance at the at the north end of the site because that is much steeper and it's a hillside. It's a natural naturally wooded area, um, and down on this other end, the southern end, um, to appease stormwater um, regulations of the of city of Montpelier, we're not supposed to have pre-existing rates um, exceeded in the post-development condition. So adding these parking spaces, we made a little serpentine to slow the water down some as it comes off. Um, so that's, that's the craziness that's down there. Um, the parking is all supposed to be paved because it needs to be a um, durable surface. Um, now that we have more than, I don't know if I remember if it's 20 or more than 10 spaces, but either way, we're, we're above that now. Um, and so originally I did submit, I was using aerial photography to establish the existing um, vegetation. And so I had um, Chelsea, of, um, a representative of Lucky Boardman, um, go and physically visit the site, take pictures for me, and confirmed that the trees on the northern end of the site are remaining and still on our property and very mature. Um, however, the trees that I had originally on the plan um, did, were removed at some point since I had the imagery, which was, I think, a 2022 image. So at some point, very recently, those trees have been removed um, to meet landscaping, the total site landscaping, because we're, min we're a minor site plan, not major. We don't have to have the street uh, landscaping in all of the different categories, but we do still need to meet total. Um, because of the impervious. So we did need to add an additional um, red maple. Um, well, it needed to be a medium-sized tree. Uh, I chose a red maple, it's fitting for the area. Um, so I put that down in the bottom corner <clears throat> just because it, you know, now that those trees got removed, it's, it'd be nice to add something back in that area. Um, and then it'll have the most sunlight to, to really grow instead of being stuck underneath the existing trees. So that is what we're, we're thinking of doing. Alicia, this whole project is behind the Washington County Mental Health Building. Is that correct? Uh, yes, I believe that's the, the building here in the front. Okay, that's yes. what I remembered. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have you, have you considered a water garden instead of the serp serpentine <laughs> ditch is the way I would just ditch as the way I would... <laughs> Um, uh, excuse me, I didn't, I didn't evaluate a, a lot of different, um, stormwater options. Uh, this, there's a lot of slope to this site. So to create, um, a, what I'd call more ponded area is a lot harder to do, um, effectively. And then also to create an outlet structure to slow, keep that water, um, slow wet before it releases, uh, it's, it's a big cost expenditure, so I was trying to be effective, costly, um, instead of having too much, too many structures, <laughs> excuse me, to do, um, and that, that's why we chose to do this way. And this would be open, correct, rather than underground? 
where the squiggles are. Uh, the stormwater? Yeah. Yes, yes, that would be visible from the surface, yes. It's just kind of a swale that goes runs through there. It does, uh, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and <clears throat> pardon me, I'm sorry. Uh, just kind of a swale that runs through there. The way you've done yes. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um a, and a, and originally it, it's not hard concrete with curvings or anything. No, it is not. It is just intended to be a grass swale. Um and I originally it's this shape and I had it squished up here because I thought that those existing mature trees were down along the fence line. So I was really trying to protect those trees and keep it away. Um, I don't know if um, having a, a longer sweeping, more sweeping swale would be more um, aesthetically pleasing, but this one does the job, <coughs> excuse me, um, for now, but that's why it's kind of shoved up in that corner. And you're not doing any more planting, correct? Except for the right, um, yep, grass, uh, established grass, and then um, the red, the one red maple is being proposed in that corner. Anybody else have any questions? No, there there are trees on the north end. Is that correct? Over here, yes. where the slope is. Okay, how yes, heavily so up. How heavily forested is that? I may have an image that I can. So this was the the Google car image. This is the hillside up above the site. Oh, did, they, did it show the picture? No, we Not have. There. Hold on, hold it's, on. It's I, also it, there's also there's a Google image in your packet, Martha. But yeah, I don't know I if Alicia that. has a different one. Yeah, yeah. and that one the, the um, show no, is stuff that. a little old. Yeah. Right. So I'll point out. So these ones up here are, is the hillside. That's the kind of naturally vegetated. It's not intended landscaping. You know, it's great. Um, and then the trees that are remaining are on the northern end of the site that are what we're calling landscaped um, intended planted trees. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. And then unfortunately, some of these at some point in time recently uh, were cut down. Okay. The, the southern end of the site. And so that's why we're, we're proposing that new red maple to plant in this corner of the fencing. Will that swale also catch the melting snow or is that gonna um, not work for that? It's um, the way I have the, the new parking spaces designed it, the, um, yes is the short answer i believe uh sorry the now it's probably not sharing anyway um between the two tandem the existing parking spaces and then the tandem spaces i've drained i'm proposing to have it graded toward each other and it should drain into that start of the swale instead of um i tried to see if i could do a, a ditch along the end of it and it was just not working with the steepness of that site um it was just fl <laughs> flying right out so <laughs> Excuse me. It should be catching all of the all of the new parking spaces, as well as the ones that are tandem there, and and some of the flow from the existing spaces just based on the existing grading. But I did not. Um, I can't. I can't catch all of the water from that farther south pieces. Yep. Anybody else? Yeah, I'll run down through the criteria. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of, that apply to this one because we have no buildings involved. <laughs> you're muted, Eric. Yeah. Eric, you're muted. There. there you go. Uh, num number one is uh, related to buildings. The staff suggests oh. not, not, not applicable. Two, three, uh, or three, three is proposed landscaping shall be compatible with the neighborhood uh, and the site on which the project is uh, uh, located. I would say that's acceptable because it's really not any change of use. 
uh, and it's cleaning the site up in the drainage. Location and appearance of all utilities, mechanical equipment, trash storage, and fencing. And that's acceptable because there will be done. You're not doing any lighting, are you? That's acceptable. No, there's no proposed new lighting. Great. Uh, alterations to buildings. That's five is a built buildings. It's not applicable. Uh, views of the state house dome, not applicable. Uh, river and street frontage, uh, not applicable. Height of buildings, not applicable. Proportion of buildings, not applicable. Rhythm, buildings, not applicable. Uh, roof shape and equipment, not applicable. Architectural features, not applicable. Roof drainage, not applicable. Uh, sign removal, uh, not applicable. Uh, no lighting, not applicable. Uh, landscaping screening and site furnishings. Uh, and uh, that includes fencing, seating, other types of furniture, landscaping, uh, obscure any key architectural features, and mechanical equipment swing. I would say that's uh, not applicable as well. And, uh, and uh, there'd be no recommendations for, recommendations for any changes as far as the vice chair is concerned. Uh, so now do I hear a motion to approve this project? I'll move to approve it. This is Martha. I'll second it. Moved and seconded, all in favor? This is Martha, yes. Ben, yes. Eric, yes. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck with your project, all of that stuff. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Meredith, can you give me just a perfect? You'll let me know. Yeah. What I next? will okay. yeah, I will we'll see you in two weeks. Um so weeks. December fourth um is when this goes before the development review board for the slopes impact. Um and I really I don't I don't see it being a big issue, um, but we gotta go through the DRB. Um, so I'll get, I'll fold the recommendation form for DRC into that packet, um, along with all the, the updated plan we just reviewed, that'll all go to the DRB with my staff report. Um, and so you should get an email the w Thursday, hopefully, hopefully Wednesday, but as late as Friday, if I have to, but usually aim for Thursday, mm -hmm. get the staff report and the link and all that stuff. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you, Thank Alicia. You. Thank you, Chelsea. Have a good night. You too. Uh, Meredith, I'll drop the form off tomorrow. Awesome. I don't know whether it'll be first thing in the morning or. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Uh, now we have the minutes of November 6th. Uh, is anybody ready to move those? Can we do them? Yes, uh, yeah. we can. I guess we can. Yeah. So um, hear yeah, I'll I'll make a motion to accept them as written. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay, all in favor? Eric Martha? says yes. <laughs> minutes are the minutes are approved. Uh any other business to come before this? Uh, I have just a little update for everybody who's here on membership of the Design Review Committee. Um, we actually have two applicants for two vacant seats, one alternate, one regular seat. Um, those should be going before the City Council on the, um, what is it, the 13th? Uh, I think it's the 13th. That's the next time the city council meets. They just couldn't fit it in last week. Um, too much other stuff going on. So we've got um, Rebecca Owens. Um, sorry, I've got this in the wrong place. Who? Uh, she actually lives in Williamstown. Um, she's a property manager. Um, 
And so I'm going to have to double check the requirements um, for living within Montpelier, but um, she's, you know, bunch of, of just, she says formal education and design, um, management, uh, home repair stuff. So might be an interesting addition and we need members. Um, and then William Russell, he's an architect, um, lives in Montpelier and he also, um, used to serve he says non-voting member so i'm assuming that's advice you know a alternate maybe um served on the design review committee from uh in 2002 to 2004 so he's been on before um and has been working as an architect i think since 2007 now so um, maybe he was on as a student member i don't know if the design review committee used to have student members i'm not sure um but so i you know, I expect we'll have at least one, if not two more design review committee members by the time we get to our second DRC meeting in December. Great. Thank you. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I've been on design review since 99, I think. And <laughs> I don't recall him, but there's a lot that I don't remember over those 24 years. <laughs> uh Next regular meeting is uh, December 4th. Same time, same place, same Zoom. Yes. <laughs> any, are there any updates about City Hall and when we might get off Zoom? Um, I don't have anything. I mean, they only just selected the consultant to come up with the you know, alternative proposals for what to do with a combination of City Hall fire department and police department um for you know uh, the the needs of the city as well as what can be done with those buildings um because i mean the the basement of the police department flooded and the fire department flooded pretty badly so um they've got to do figure out how to how to flood proof or renovate all of those spaces um so you know if we have an application coming in where I anticipate it's going to have a large group of people who want to comment, um, then I will probably reserve a space in the senior center um, for the meeting because they have the ability to, um, at least that would be my first choice. We'll see if they'd be available, um, but they often don't have evenings activities over there and, or they have the, all the technology set up so that the ORCA would be able to do the, um, live stream as well as manage the zoom interaction um and it's ada accessible so that's really what we have to do for that as for when we'll have a regular meeting space again oops <laughs> got that back in as for when we'll have a regular meeting space again i really don't know um you know it's 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 tough to even just you know find a room these days to to have a private phone call. <laughs> I've had some meetings out in my car on my cell phone, and my cell phone is not a work phone. <laughs> Hold on one so, second. Yep. Oh, right, and I'll be off in about a minute and a half. Do, do we? Uh, do I hear a motion for adjournment? So yeah. moved. And I'll second it. All in favor, Chair, Vice Chair says aye. Martha says uh, yes. Ben says yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, go. everybody. <laughs> and well, we for do... making it a real meeting and have a good Thanksgiving, everybody. Yes, you too. Yep. And we do have an app at least one application for the fourth. So we will have a meeting on the fourth. Do give me a heads up as soon as you can if you or know that you won't be available on the 20th because that's the week of Christmas. Um, and I know some people take the whole week off. So if you can't be available December 20th, give me a heads up because if we can't meet then, I don't want to schedule any applications for that day. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, Meredith. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Night.